Glock 34 Gen 5 MOS. The brand new thing, guys. This thing is a monster. Let's watch a little video. America! Hey everybody, we're here to talk about the brand new Glock 34 Gen 5 that was just released in the first couple weeks of January 2018. It is the long slide competition gun. It is in 9mm, it's got the MOS cutouts on top, and it has the adjustable sights and the long grip and the high capacity. So it is the shooter's gun. It is the guy who wants things to be accurate or maybe compete and that kind of thing, but it's still super reliable because it's a Glock. So follow along, we're gonna check this gun out. We're gonna go over the details between Gen 5 and Gen 4 and that kind of thing, and then we'll go out to the range to run it a little bit. So here is the what is in the box. What is in the box? You get the handgun itself, you get these plates here that are for your RMRs, those are your adapters for the MOS system or the modular optic system. You have the cleaning brush, you have the rod for the cleaning brush that also has a place for the patches. It comes with three magazines, they are the Gen 5 Orange Follower magazines. You can also use the Gen 4, Gen 3 mags with this. You have the little bitty sight adjustment tool, which is essentially a tiny flat-headed screwdriver. Of course, it comes with the classic Glock plastic case. It does have the manual. It does have the back straps there where you can add a, a beaver tail back strap, and it also has the speed loader. So that is what comes in the box. The gun itself, what makes it a 34 is the long slide on here. The differences between Gen 4, Gen 3, and Gen 5, the Gen 5s, and if I miss something here, you guys just comment down in the comments, the Gen 5s have this new NDLC coating on here. It's new compared to the old Tenerfer coating. The old Tenerfer coating was outstanding. One thing we need to do real quick is show that it's safe so all the safety people are happy. It's empty, there's nothing in it. This is the NDLC coating. It has a loaded chamber indicator. I'm not 100% certain if that is a Gen 5 thing or not. I should probably have checked up on that before I made the video. It is adjustable sight. If you can see that, there's some little screws there that, that you adjust the sights with. That's what the sight looks like from the back. It is a little wider. You can acquire the front sight a little easier on the Gen 5 stuff. If you notice, there are no finger grooves like there were in the Gen 3, Gen 4. And this is the RTF frame, the rough textured frame. It does have a swelled magwell there so that you can fit your mags in a little bit easier. It is, It has the cutout in the front. That's a new Gen 5 thing. It also has the smooth-faced trigger. That is a new deal for Gen 5 as well. The trigger does shoot a little better. It is a little lighter, it feels like to me anyway. Even if it's not lighter, it feels a little crisper. I like the trigger better in these than the older ones. It does have ambidextrous slide release on there as well. You can see the reset on the trigger is fairly short on these. I'm not sure if that is a new thing on the Gen 5s, but the reset is really good. And the trigger is the same. When you go to pull the trigger, it hits a wall, has just the tiniest bit of creep, and then it clicks. So it hits a wall, tiniest creep, and clicks. I think it's a great trigger. I've always liked Glock triggers okay. A lot of people don't like them for whatever reason. I don't know. I like them. When you go to pull the gun apart, it is the standard way that a Glock comes apart with these two tabs. A little bit of black back pressure, press down on the tabs, slide it forward. We have the double captive spring system in there that we have on all the Gen 4 stuff. That came around in Gen 4, Gen 3, just had a single guide rod. We have a five inch barrel in here. 
and that thing pops out that way. So there's the barrel that we're working with. So to reassemble, we put it back together, we slide this into the front there, we press it down into the barrel, you got to make sure it goes all the way down. You align the guide, uh, the guides on the frame, and you slide it right back into place on those guides, reassembles, and it's back together. So there it is, gun fans, the Glock 34 Gen 5 MOS. Follow along, we're going to go out and shoot it and see what we think about it. All right, guys, it's the Glock 34 Gen 5 MOS with the RMR cut and the adjustable sights. I shot this thing off camera. It shoots really good. So we're going to see how good I can do with it here on paper. That's uh, generally how I can judge my accuracy is by using a piece of paper and trying to shoot it clean. We'll see how good I do. Some days are good, some days are bad. Let's give it a shot. There it goes. The slide did not lock back, interestingly enough, but that's okay. Let's check out the target. So with this, you can kind of see the accuracy of the gun if you sort of take your time. That is basically one nasty, ragged hole. That's what a long slide gun is supposed to shoot like. Very, very cool. Oh, that's a good one. Got a little dueling tree there. That was a miss. There it goes. That was a miss. Yeah, it's gotten my number, doesn't it? There it goes. Small steel. Oh, knocked it down. What if I hit the chain? Hit that chain, I think. There we go. Yeah, that was good. Go back to the dueling tree, maybe. Cool. That was a miss. There we go. Go to one of these big pieces of steel. There we go. One more time. Oh, that's cool. Let's change a mag. I'm not trying to do super fast tactical mag changes here. Ah, uh, dueling tree. Let's go to a bigger piece of steel. Maybe I won't look so stupid on camera. There we go. There we go. Ah, hit the one hanging there. Spun it a little bit. Try this over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, thought I'd emptied my mag. Empty. One more magazine. Oh, dropped it. There we go. Big one. All right. The little piece. The little pieces have a number today. It still does, apparently. There we go. One little hit. That was super low, though. I wonder what the deal is. There it goes. That's a solid hit. Good. Good in there, too. 
All right, which one do I want? Let's try the top dueling tree. Let's get, it's pretty high. Hey, I hit it, cool. There we go. All right, one more on the dueling tree over here. That one's got my number two. Damn. There we go, finally. All right, well, very cool. Well, look, I'm sure there's a lot of guys that can hit a lot better than I can, and that's cool. But this thing's a lot of fun to shoot. I think for the competition guys that are trying to go fast, especially if you take these sights and adjust them down. I'm just running them right out of the box. I barely know how the thing shoots, but one way or another, this gun is a long slide shooter. We saw on our paper test how accurate it was. This thing is a, is a hell of a gun. I like the way it fits. I like the real high capacity, like the Glock 17. I think that it's fun to have that many rounds where you can mess around and shoot. And I, I think that the, the long slide, it's got a manageable recoil and uh, it's an accurate gun. I, I really like this gun. If you want something that's fun to shoot, you know, this probably isn't your first gun because uh, it's kind of a, a, a unique pistol with with it being a long slide and all that kind of thing. But if you want something that you're looking for a fun gun to play with, this is going to be one to, to keep in mind. I really like it. I hope you guys uh, provide me with a little feedback. If you own one of these, what you think about it, put it down in the comments or whatever. But uh, like I said, if you guys want a fun gun to play with, get you one of these. Y'all take it easy, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video, and we hope you'll follow us in the future.